Margaret Antiques is a collection of fine antiques that we've been um, binding and buying for the last 15 years. It's a combination of all those pieces into Margaret Antiques to make it one of the best and most interesting antique shops anyone can visit in the South West. I can remember liking old things from a very young age, from a young, you know, from my first recollections of childhood being this high, um, always looking out for treasure and old things and anything that was just not modern or um, like everyone else had. The sense of excitement of finding old things and I always hoped as a small person, as a small child, that one day I would be able to afford some precious antiques. So it's something that I, I don't really know where it came from, but it's always been there. Well, I was a men's hairdresser for 36 years. My passion was always antiques, and I always collected antiques and had antiques in my house and whatever. So when I bought a premises in uh, Bunbury, which was called Turnby House Antiques, uh, I was cutting hair there and we had spare rooms so I used to put my antiques in there and it grew from there so my passion slowly grew for the antiques and retailing antiques and buying and selling antiques I found a lot more enjoyable than standing there going snip snip all day. My passion came from when I was a little boy growing up in the farm in Maine up with my grandparents. They had a good collection of antique pieces up in the lounge room that you weren't allowed to sit on or have anything to do with unless you'd had a bath and you were clean to go into the lounge room to enjoy them. So I found that they were treasures and right from a very early age I thought antiques were treasures. Also my grandfather was a, an avid racehorse owner and won lots of races and there was a room on our farm full of trophies that he'd won with his horses. You weren't allowed to in there but I used to sneak in there as a little boy unlift these little treasures and all this silver and shiny things and I thought, love it, treasure in my blood forever. That's me. Uh, this magnificent piece is a uh, solid sterling silver candelabra made by the famous Bernard Brothers in England, so hallmark stamped uh, with English hallmarks over. It was presented to Commodore Arthur Farquhar in 1831 by the Assembly of the Jamaican Government uh, in appreciation of his involvement in the recent uprisings in Jamaica at that time. The other part of the gift was a magnificent sword uh, that was presented to him on the same time. Unfortunately we haven't got that, but that was sold at Christie's for something like £60,000. And this is the other part of the gift sitting right here at Margaret Rantiques. So it's a very important piece in our collection the business grew to a point where we wanted to take it to the next level and we really felt we needed a bigger showroom to showcase what we have. I've always loved Margaret River. I love the region of Margaret River. And um, I suppose the weather down here we really love, the, the tranquility of the place. It's just a lovely place to live. And we bought this building, it was an old building, it was the Augusta Margaret River Business Centre when we bought it four years ago. It was all leased out and then we just waited for all the leases to run out and then we built our townhouse above it. We put accommodation on this wing and we have our antiques down below and I think the whole concept of living here and one street off the main street with a magnificent view overlooking Margaret River, you couldn't wish for anywhere else to live in Australia. Because we're competing against those online platforms like eBay for not just antiques but all sorts of collectibles. It means that we have to keep our prices very competitive and because of that um, most of the antique shops and showrooms um, Australia-wide I assume have found it unviable to stay open and most of them, a lot of them have closed. So there will always be that sort of person that wants to, would rather come to a shop for an antique than looking online. Looking online you can see thousands of different pictures. But when you come here and you actually see it, feel it, touch it, look at it and do a deal with a dealer, it's a lot more personal and you have a lot more contact with the piece and the person that you're buying it off instead of looking at a computer screen which has no real life to it other than buy now, click this button. It loses a lot of appeal doing that as far as I'm concerned. Yeah.